Namaste. Welcome to tutorial series on Super Pro Designer for Beginners Step by Step Guide to Process Simulation. In this tutorial, let us understand the types of streams available in Super Pro Designer software. When you uh, design uh, any process or simulate any process, the material flows in different way. For example, the glucose is transferred, it is a pure component and you know the composition of that particular stream and what is the flow rate of that particular stream. In a process, we come across some uh, material, for example, items, uh, you see the bottles for filling the beer or like cotton boxes to pack that beer bottle. So these are kind of items where basically we no need to define the composition of that particular uh, system if you know how many items are transferring to the process. So in Super Pro Designer, we have two type of stream. One is called as bulk stream, other one is called as discrete stream. So let us understand what is this bulk stream. So this is the bulk stream where it represents the flow of bulk material. What is this bulk material? Because we know the composition, for example, water, air, they are all called as bulk materials. Bulk streams are allowed, uh, are only allowed to hook into a bulk ports of the procedure. Let us see what is this bulk ports and uh, discrete ports. You cannot connect discrete ports to bulk ports and uh, vice versa. So we need to uh, connect the specific uh, stream to the specific uh, port and also generally the flow rates of these bulk streams are represented like kg per hour in case of a batch process or a continuous process or liter per hour or in case of batch process we come across something like kg per batch or liter per batch and also you can send uh, gases liquid solids to the system and this is basically what you look into this bulk uh, stream you can know the composition of the system flow rates of the system all these things you can specify so when it comes to the discrete operations you can notice here discrete stream represents the flow of discrete entity for example 2 liter plastic bottle so to fill some entity for example oil is extracted coconut oil is extracted we need the bottles to pack it because we need to uh, model those systems also we need to pack it we need to label those bottles so the labels which we use are again discrete entities but these again these labels are made up of some material we need to define them for example the bottle again the bottle is made up of for example glass material or for example uh, cans are there which is made up of aluminium we need to define them but basically they are entities for example 1000 bottles is required to pack this material so they have transferred it as entities you can notice here 1 liter empty bottle 12 ounce filled can uh, mid size boxes so all these are kind of discrete boxes and you can define definitely define this kind of discrete boxes uh, you can notice this is a discrete input we will go to an example problem for example in this case I have taken beer production process we come across you can notice here these are all kind of bulk streams you can easily see uh, the arrow marks where you can notice here the white arrow mark these are all bulk streams so in in this same example at the bottom you can notice there is filling option bottle filling option bottle labeling options are available you can notice there is a slight difference between this input and this input this is the bulk stream input because the liquid whatever the beer is coming that liquid is entering this bottling process but again the bottles are entering in this particular stream so if you double click on this particular stream you can notice the bottles are entering and each bottle is of 100 grams and also what is the purchase price of this bottle is given here and also what is the composition of the bottle is given is the glass is a composition of the means we need to register the pure component the glass as a pure component and we can see the glass is a pure component that particular bottle is made up of glass and you can notice here uh, you no need to set any like, uh, like the mass of this particular glass because you can, here it is given in this particular uh, uh, stream it is given the bottle each bottle is of 100 grams so how many gram how many bottles you even you can notice here the flow it is auto adjusted how many bottle is required we don't know because based upon the beer production how much quantity of beer after purification is coming up in the drown screen process based upon that so many bottles will be taken so accordingly the mass of the glass is also calculated so this is basically a discrete option you can notice here you can notice you can zoom it and check so this is the discrete input you can notice there is a dot and even if you place a cursor and you can notice there is a slight difference between this particular ports you can notice arrow mark with dots but in this case bulk ports you can notice that the thick arrow marks you can uh, visible that is where the software will is, uh, easily helps you to identify what is the discrete port and the bulk port in this particular equipment 
in this particular unit procedure that both the type of streams are there that is bulk stream is also available discrete stream is also available in this case also you can notice that the labels again uh, in this particular labeling process both the streams are discrete because label is also an items it comes and even the uh, post bottling these bottles are coming in here it is not a material stream where we know the composition the bottles are coming here the labels are coming and you can notice the both are discrete inputs here and output is discrete output in this case you can notice here one is bulk bulk input other one is discrete input the output is discrete uh, output and here in this case both are discrete inputs and you can notice here uh, the output is also discrete output in many other operations you can notice for example this is a filtered beer so all the streams are uh, bulk uh, input streams and bulk output streams and in the unit procedures also basically you notice for example in these particular unit procedures unit operations or unit procedures you don't see the discrete or bulk one for example in case of your storage tank definitely you need uh, you can see there is something called as bulk storage tanks are available discrete storage tanks are also available for example you need to store the bottles you need to store uh, some uh, labels yes you can notice the racks are available trays are available so discrete uh, option storage tanks are, tanks are also available bulk tanks are also available for example you can see the mixing also you can see there is a bulk flow is also available discrete flow is also available so we need to mix the strings definitely you can use if it is a discrete stream you can use the discrete flow even in the uh, splitting also you can see bulk and discrete and here there is something called as formulation and packing so in most of these equipments they have uh, both discrete and uh, bulk operations i hope you understood what is the uh, difference between the bulk stream and discrete stream you go to the stream operation and basically you can easily understand so what is this bulk stream and what is this a discrete stream so bulk stream so represents the flow of bulk material so uh, when you know the composition or when you know the flow rate you can go for this bulk stream discrete streams are generally used in their items basically this uh, uh, bottles or labels are nothing but a discrete items so i hope understood what is the difference between the bulk stream and discrete stream so we will use these uh, options in upcoming our uh, tutorial videos i hope you like this video and uh, thank you for watching and please do not forget to subscribe